and let the one who has no sword sell his cloak and buy one. Today I'm excited to bring you Holsters by Defense Training's Universal Waistband Holster. We've been working on this holster for a while, we've been wearing it, carrying it, and testing it, and all that good stuff. So basically our Universal Waistband Holster, it does several different things. It will universally sit right or left handed inside the waistband. Right here I have a full size Glock inside the appendix carry. And so it will sit appendix carry inside the waistband right handed or left handed. It is universally there. It will sit small on the back. It will sit inside the waistband on your side. This holster will also carry outside the waistband right or left handed anywhere around your waist you would like. So showing one of our smaller holsters, this is set up for either inside the waistband left-handed or outside the waistband right-handed. So we have this belt wing right here. and This belt wing does several things for inside the waistband carry. So basically, if I have my firearm in my holster, the belt wing, you have your belt clips attached to the belt inside the waistband. This is set up for right-handed. So basically what this does is when you put your holster on typically the grip wants to kick out so with it kicking out the belt going across the little belt wing now this is the small riser it comes with a small and a large riser so the belt going across the riser basically what this does is this pushes the grip back into your body making for a very nice snug and concealable grip that's one of the big things with the grip is it pokes out with a lot of holsters and your shirt rides over it so you can kind of see that grip. But this belt wing pushes that grip back into your body and snugs it against your body to make it very concealable. With outside the waistband with this holster with the belt wing, all you do is you take your riser off so you can see there's no riser on it, but you leave the belt wing actually on it. And you just flip it around. So the belt wing is not going to be seen or visible with outside the waistband. This again would be set up this would be for right-handed outside the waistband, so they're opposite. The right-handed inside the waistband is set up left-handed outside the waistband, and right-handed outside the waistband set up for left-handed inside the waistband. All you do is you leave the belt wing on, and this keeps a good solid foundation with the holster, and this just keeps your holster nice and firm. So you put it on your side just like that nobody's going to see the belt wing at this point the only thing you're going to see is this side not this side so it makes for a good solid foundation for a holster in the waistband and outside the waistband so we've left it on there because we really like the way it does and also with it sitting off where your clip is it helps push your clip off this also helps pull the gun back into your body on the opposite side outside the waistband so it pushes your gun the grip into the body inside the waistband. It also helps with the clip, the belt clip, to pull it inside to your body outside the waistband. So it does the same thing both inside and outside the waistband. It also has this wedge right here. Now the wedge serves as several different purposes. One is to hold the belt clip on the other side, but when you put your gun on, basically on the inside the waistband, it wants to push out this wedge pushes it back into your body so it snugs against your body. So the belt clip pushing the grip and the wedge pushing the top of the gun back into your body, it conceals better, plus it offers a better carry. It's not just flopping around on your waist. The wedge also pushes your gun back into the body when it's outside the waistband carry. It's on the same side as the clip and it pushes it back into my body. My gun's sitting snug against my body, so this makes it easy for you guys that want to, outside the waistband, conceal carry. Now I can just throw my shirt over it. So now I have a concealed carry gun with outside the waistband. It has two belt clips. Now with the two belt clips, this does a couple different things. When it's on the inside of the waistband, I can adjust these belt clips to the rod height I want. I like my rod right here. So I can go grab my gun and I can pull it out. It also allows it to sit here the entire time. When I'm moving on my daily routine, whether it's at an office job, in and out of a chair, whether it's working any other kind of job, bending and picking stuff up, it's not gonna move. So when I grab it, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pull my shirt up, I need my gun, it's right there. It's not moved down into my pants, it's not moving around. The same thing with the adjustability of the clips, you can move these clips up and down. Both clips go up and down. So basically what that will do is with moving the clips, the gun can sit either more straight up and down, 
It can even angle back depending on how you want it or it can angle forward. I like mine angled forward on both places. I like it angled forward a little bit here and I like it angled forward a little bit here. That way I can get my hand under that grip really easy. Now of course this is a smaller firearm. With the smaller firearms this is basically what you're going to see on them. So it's going to be kind of rounded right here. This is all your smaller firearms is going to have this. And with this, they don't sit low enough to really impede to your leg. With the larger firearms in the appendix carry, we have what we call a leg cut. So if you look right here, we have this leg cut. And what this does is when you carry it right here, it's about where I carry mine. It has a cutout right here so I can move my leg up and down without any problems. Now I have a full size Glock and it has the lead cut and the cut's about right here so I can literally pick my leg up and it's not cutting into my leg, it's not digging into me. So we have that lead cut on our holsters which makes it very comfortable for the appendix carry. But if you want to go outside the waistband, this is all it is, it's just that cut out. A couple other things outside the waistband, again it has the dual clip but the dual clips also have this little retention tab on the inside of the clip so basically when you put it on your belt it holds onto your belt so if you're in some kind of scuffle or struggle some of the other holsters that I've tried over the years I've tried the paddle holsters the plastic clip holsters the metal clip without the retention on them and I've gotten to retention training and I've gotten to struggles with the guys you know in a training setting and I would draw my gun after I finally got this guy off of me enough to push him away to go back I would draw my gun and the whole holster would come off with my gun. Our holsters are made so that that retention clip holds onto your belt and it's not going anywhere. It's not going to just come out when I draw the gun, even in a scuffle situation. The little tab, see if we can get it, there we go, and that little tab right there. That little tab basically either goes in behind your belt to grab on or if you have a double leather belt like I do, it actually digs into your belt so it's not just going to come off so when you go to grab that gun it's the gun is all that you're going to come up with if you're in that type of situation i push this guy off that's the last thing i need is this holster coming off so both of our clips two metal clips have the retention tabs so we have a dual retention system to the belt another thing about our clips is you can tuck your shirt behind the clip outside the waistband and you can tuck your shirt behind the clip inside the waistband. So we have it where it's concealed. Now again, this is a full-size gun and I'm able to conceal the full-size gun even in the appendix carry with a shirt tuck. Another thing about our holsters is they have what we call an audible snap and a cover over the trigger. So this makes it even safer. So you hear the audible snap, just like that. So now I know that it's snapped in and it's snug and nothing's going to be able to get to that trigger. With the trigger guard cover, we have an adjustable retention. So we've got a screw right here. We've also got two screws right here. So this can adjust your retention. Our holsters carry a lifetime warranty because we know we make a good holster and we know it's going to last your lifetime. We make them right here in Anderson, South Carolina in our small mom and pop shop. So go check us out, defensetraining.org backslash holster. I'm Spencer, a small arms instructor at Defense Training. I hope this video helps you in your daily care of small arms. Always train for the worst, pray for the best. Stay safe, stay armed.